Hi, I'm Nina Ottosson. I created a category and brand for puzzle games for almost 30 years ago. And my philosophy is a dog has four legs, one head, and all five need exercise, but in different ways. My puzzle game has been designed to exercise and stimulate the dog's brain in a fun and easy way indoors. And puzzle games is perfect to use when the weather is bad, it's raining, it's cold, it's too hot, and some dogs can't go for walks when it's winter time. So puzzle game is the perfect way to exercise the dog's mind indoors. The dog has to work to find hidden traits by problem solving. It gives the dog a daily job to exercise their brain, to stimulate the brain. And when a dog is exercise the brain, using the brain, that is the only way to make a dog tired. And a tired dog is a happy dog. Each person has a unique mechanism and function. The dog has to work through the person to find all the hidden treats. And all games have their own unique mechanism. And the Nina Ottosson games are designed to suit all kinds of dogs, in all sizes, in all ages and all breeds, from puppy to old dogs. So there is a puzzle who suit all kinds of dogs. And the materials in our puzzle games is non-toxic, they are BPA and PVC, and fafala free. That is very important for me because I use them, my children, my dogs, and even my grand grandchildren use them. So that is very important for me. Why is puzzle game good for the dog and for us? And puzzle games exercise the dog's mind. And it prevents boredom. And boredom is almost because the dog don't have anything to do. They don't use their head. And puzzle games can help prevent and reduce behavior problems. Because if you give a dog a job, the dog will use their head and they will be tired. And a tired dog is a happy dog. A puzzle game can also help and prevent overweight. Many dogs today are too big, too fat. And if you give your dogs daily food in the puzzle, you can reduce the, the, the amount of food you give the dog and it takes longer time for the dog to solve a puzzle. And the games will help you to bond more with your dog. If you play together, you sit down, you feel the games when the dog is looking and you say sit, stay, wait, and you feel the games. And then the dog looking at you, you can say go ahead. So the bond between you and your dog will be much, much better if you're playing it together. And the most of everything, it's fun. Dog loves puzzle solving. So this is a fun way to exercise your dog's mind indoors. And why do we have different levels and different puzzles? That is because all dogs are different. Some dogs are very clever, some are less clever, and some are paw dogs and some are nose dogs, some are rough and some are very methodical. They can really work out the puzzle and puppies and younger dogs. And there's a lot of different dogs, small, big, and all of them can use this puzzle. There is a puzzle for every kind of dogs, regardless of size, age, breed. So everybody can use a puzzle. And most of the puzzles can be made both easier and also more difficult. You can start more easy and then go make it more and more difficult. We have also puzzles without removable parts, which is perfect for dogs who can't handle removable parts or puppies or junkie dogs. So these games are perfect to use. And you can also make a frozen puzzle by putting in something tasty, the dog like, you have a little water in the compartments and then you put the game in the freezer and let it set. This is perfect for dogs who is quite rough. And if you do this the first time you give that to your dog, 
is perfect. The dog will remember it need to work a slower to get to the treats. And frozen puzzle is also great if you the dog is very in it, a lot of energy. And also it's warm outside. And a lot of dogs love frozen puzzle. In this I had frozen dry dog food with a little water and then it's freezing. It's frozen and the dog has to lick this up. And sometimes I just take a piece of sausage or something, add a little water and put it in the freezer. You had to add something the dogs really like. It's a great way to exercise the dog's mind. Indoors, especially also summertime when it's hot outside, is perfect with a frozen puzzle. Another tip is to make a puzzle room. Some dogs are really clever, so I always make a puzzle room for them, a puzzle race. I have a lot of different puzzles and I put maybe three or four pieces in each puzzle. And then the dogs have to go through every, every puzzle to find the treats. It's perfect sometimes when the dog need a little more activity, exercise and like that. And if your dog is quite rough or maybe your dog is hurt in their leg or something, they can't move around as they want to, you can put a game on a stool or a pillow or something similar so the puzzle will get a little higher. If you put a game there on the pallet, the dog can only work with the nose, which is also a little more difficult, but also perfect if you want to have a little less rough playing. So the dog only can work with the nose. And you can also tie strings in like dog casino, in the drawers, so the dog can pull up them with the strings. And this is perfect to do with a lot of puzzles. Tie strings in blocks, in drawers, so the dog easily can lift up. Because sometimes, especially the first attempts for the dogs in a puzzle, could, could be quite difficult. So if you tie strings, it will be a little easier for the dog to solve the puzzle. And when the dog understands how to do it, you can start removing the strings to make it a little more difficult again. And something is perfect to do. When you're playing together, you can also teach your dog these common words like sit, wait, be allowed. The dog learn very quickly because something positive is happening. So the dog will learn very quickly and you bond with your dog at the same time and when you fill the, the puzzles you say wait, sit, stay and you fill the puzzle and then the dog looking at you you say be allowed and then also when you will fill it again you say wait, sit and then you fill the puzzle and again be allowed. That is perfect. The dog will listen to you, the communication between you and your dog will be much better. And all kinds of pets can use these puzzle games. Everything from the cat, ferrets, parrots, rats, rabbit, guinea pig. I even have tried them on zoo and monkeys, lizards, wild cats. So every pet can try this, but as always, supervise and teach how to puzzle with this. And puzzle games is also perfect to use with raw food. Lots of them have big compartments and you can put in raw food or anything the dogs will eat. And it's important to start easy and then step by step make the puzzle more and more difficult. Because many, many puzzles you can make them both easier or a little more advanced. And we have levels from level one to level four. Many dogs can start by level two. And then I think you need to go step by step. Level two, level three, and then some level four. And it's important to supervise the dog and teach the dog how to play, especially the first attempts, because a dog don't know sometimes what a puzzle is. They don't know the playing rules. So we need to teach the dog the playing rules. Because it's a puzzle game, it is not a chewing toy. At once the dog understands the concept, how to solve a puzzle, they will learn and they will try to find the treats the proper way. Because puzzle games is like a crossword and Sudoku for us. If we start too difficult, we give up. 
a dog starts chewing. We need to start in the right level so the dog find it fun and they can solve it. And the same if you do too easy crossword sometimes, we think that was too easy. We need to start in the right level, also for the dogs. And the most important of all, have fun. Puzzle solving is fun. 75% of all dogs love puzzle solving. I even tried sometimes to give the dog a puzzle and a regular dog bowl. And 75% of the dogs choose the puzzle because they want to be challenged. They love to be challenged and the dog love to use their brain. Bye bye.